This video is on constraint-based training using time constraints to influence players' decision-making. What you're going to see in these clips is one team has eight seconds to score and the other team has to keep the ball for eight seconds before scoring. So right here, the yellow team has eight seconds to score, so you can see that's five, six, seven. They scored within eight seconds. Red team has to keep it for eight seconds before scoring. One, two, three, four, five. Six, see you had to force that ball because they had to score within eight seconds. Now if you notice the red team, they have to keep it for eight seconds before scoring. So the red team's decision making is influenced by that and they have to really look to keep possession and stretch the floor out while the players on the yellow team have to immediately think what's the most forward pass we could take and how can we score as quickly as possible. So it really, um, the environment creates a different environment for each team and it really influences their decision so if you see this this gray team just tried to score right away because they only have eight seconds while the yellow team has to keep it for eight seconds now so one two three four it gave it away now they have eight seconds to score now notice he normally he would go to goal but because he has to keep it for eight seconds they didn't go to goal they elected to keep it would have scored there but eight seconds weren't up so they had to keep it so you can see here the environment becomes the teacher. The environment um, really forces different decisions to be made by the players. So the whole idea of constraint-based training is really a constraint can be seen as a limitation or a boundary, and it limits kind of the decisions that a player can make. But at the same time, because there's limiting tools, the players actually become more creative because... Um, they're not over overwhelmed with, a, with so many choices to make. So they're working within that confined, confined environment and they use the tools and the decisions that are possible to actually become more creative in the environment that's created with the constraints. So constraint-based training, using time constraints to give the players a unique experience and alter their decision-making.